In this video we're going to cover unique rectangles or sometimes shortened to UR. This is puzzle 89, a diabolical puzzle from Sudoku to Go, volume 112 by Soap Opera Digest. I am Harold Nolte and this channel um, has over 150 videos on solving Sudoku puzzles. There are videos added quite often. I also created the SudokuPrimer.com website. And on that website you can find techniques, uh, patterns, and techniques and patterns are are things that you can use to um, help you learn new th new ways of solving puzzles. It also has a video index. So all these things are plus a lot more Sudoku information are on the uh, SudokuPrimer.com website. Uh, if you want to find specific videos with specific topics or specific skill levels you can use the video index uh, to find that. You can search for different techniques and patterns and things like that. So as I mentioned we're going to do uh, we're going to solve this diabolical puzzle. We're going to as we solve it we'll uh, find a couple of instances of unique rectangles or URs sometimes they're called. So I'm just going to start filling in some of the easy numbers here and if you have a question about how I got some of these numbers um, you can leave a comment and I'll try and answer your questions. Okay. So those three numbers are really straightforward. Okay now here in box one we've we've filled in a one and a two so we've got uh, 6, 8, and 9 missing. And we can't solve those right now with what we've got, but um, you notice we can put a 3 here. Because we've got a 3 and a 3 there already. So what are we missing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. So that's a 5 and a 7. And we can fill those in. Okay, let's see here. Now we can put a two right there. Now how did we get that two? Well, we've got a two here and a two here already. So one of these is a two. We've got a two here and a two here already, so one of these is a two. So these two boxes already have twos in these two columns even though we can't solve them yet. This is called double column elimination so no, so we know now that the two has to fit in this column in this box and uh, now we also have a two here and a two here so one of these is a two. We have a two here and a two here so one of these is a two. So we now know that these two boxes cover these two rows so using double row elimination we were able to place that too. Now we also know that this is a 3. And we know that's a 3 because of double column elimination. We got a 3 here and a 3 here. So one of these is a 3. And by the way, we've got two 3 twins right there. One of the um, one of these two is a 3 because we got a 3 here and a 3 here. So one of these is a 3. So these two boxes cover these two columns. So using double column elimination we are able to put that 3 in. And then we can put that 3 in. That's pretty straightforward there. Four fits there. That's pretty easy. 
now we've, we're only missing five, eight, five and eight here. So, so these are five, eight twins there. And also, so we have five, eight twins here. Notice we have a five and a seven there. So these are five, seven twins. And the only thing left here is Eight nine, so we got five seven twins there, eight nine twins there, five eight twins and two three twins. Right. Now we can put a five here because of these five seven twins that we know about there, and the five eight twins there. We know that's a five. We can also put an eight here. How do we get that eight? Well, we've got eight nine twins there that we just found. So that has to be an eight. And because of that, we also know that one of these is a nine. So that's a nine and that's a six in box one. Okay, we've got a six there. Got a nine right there. How did we get that nine? Let's see what we're missing here. We're missing in this row, row nine. Two, four, seven, nine. Two, four, seven, nine we're missing before we place that nine. We got a two here and a four and a seven in that column. So we know that's a nine. Now we'll note you'll notice that we got a one here, one here. So one of these is a one. And because of these nines, we know one of these is a nine. So we got one nine twins there. So we'll remember that. Let's see, where are our twins? We got five, seven, eight, nine, five, eight, two, three, and one nine twins. Okay. All right. Now this is a nine right there. How did we get that? That's kind of interesting. Could have been here, right? Well, let's look at this column right here. What are we missing? One, five, seven, nine. One, five, seven, and nine are missing here. We know this is a one nine because of the one nine twins. And look here, we've got a five and a seven here, so we know that's a one nine. So we know that's a five and a seven. We know that's a five and a seven because we have one nine twins here already. So that has to be five and seven. This is already five and seven, so we have five and seven twins here. So that is the nine. That's how we got that nine there. Okay. Now, because of that nine, we can fill in the one nine twins there in box eight. And we also know that we have a one right here. All right. Now, because of that one, we've got a one here and a two there. We've got a two in box four right here because of this two we know that's a two right there now you notice in box six right here we've got a we got five eight twins here so these have to be one two three four four and nine. We can't solve those, but that helps us solve these eight, nine twins right here that we had. And with this eight here, we know this is an eight. 
We also could have seen these are five seven twins, so eight was the only one missing in this column. Okay, and with that eight, we know this is an eight. And now we will only missing six and eight in column one here, so we can fill those in. And box nine is only missing uh, one. Seven. So we can fill those in. All right. Now I know that this is a two. Now, how do I know that that is a two? Well, let's look at this box right here. The only m numbers missing are four and seven. Here we had two, four, and seven missing. We couldn't really solve them right off readily, but since these are four and seven, these two cells cannot be four and seven because of the unique rectangles rule. Okay. These can't be four and seven if these are four and seven. So we knew that this could not be a 2 because these can't be 4 and 7. Couldn't have a 2 here because of that 2. So we know that is a 2 and now we have 4 and 7 right here. 4, 7 twins and 4, 7 there. Now we've only got two numbers left here. Let's see what those are. 6 and a 9. And with that six there, let's see, we can solve that six. Okay, now that we placed a two here, we can we can solve our two three twins that we saw earlier in box two there. And we've got a three right here. Pretty straightforward. Okay, now our four nine twins that we found earlier, we can solve those. And with those four, let's see, with that four we placed, we know that's a four. All right, now let's look at this right here. We have five eights. We knew about that. A five and an eight could fit right here too. And uh, let me just point out that there, there's other ways to solve what we're looking at right now. Uh, but I'm going to I'm going to use this as an, a second example of unique rectangles because these are five eight twins only two numbers that can fit in these two cells. These can't be 5 and 8. We know one of them has to be an 8 because of this 8 and this 8. But the 5 can be here, here, or here. Uh, because these are 8's already, or one of these is an 8, neither of these can be a 5 because of unique rectangles. So this has to be a 5. Now with that 5, we can solve these five seven twins there and these five seven twins there and uh, we've got four four seven there we can solve those that's a seven there and now all we have left is a five eight here which we can solve now because of this five and a 8, 9 there. And then we can fill in these four sevens also. And that's it. Okay. So the unique rectangles we found here helped us find this two, which helped us continue and keep going. Um, 
and that was an example of unique rectangles and then I you know like I said I could have solved this without using unique rectangles these two numbers and these four numbers here but I decided to give you one more example of unique rectangles there to uh, to finish those and that helped us finish the puzzle so that's it uh, not too hard of a puzzle it's a it's rated diabolical probably not um, real real difficult probably more like a hard puzzle but anyway um, good examples of unique rectangles well thank you for watching um, if you haven't subscribed yet uh, please subscribe to this channel and uh, click on the bell icon if you'd like to be notified of videos coming up in the future I'll see you on the next video